Hey, it's Ben here, and here in this tutorial, we're going to have a very quick look at how we export out a 15 second range from our Final Cut Pro timeline. So, basically, if you're exporting out something for an Instagram story, then this is a really quick way of doing that and of setting the duration of what you're exporting to exactly 15 seconds. So, we're going to jump into Final Cut Pro here, and I'm just going to grab this whole timeline um, and copy it. So, I'm just going to move to the position tool here so I can move down the timeline a little bit and paste it in and leave a little bit of a gap so I can see where everything is that I need to select. I'll select all that and then I'm going to do Alt and G to group this all together. So I've got my timeline here and we're going to grab a little bit of this timeline uh, to turn into a little bit of an Instagram story. But first of all we're going to set up a new project with a custom resolution of 1080 by 1920. 30 frames a second and we'll click OK. I'm not worried about the name of it for this and then basically I'm going to paste that in and then we can do shift and Z so we can see the whole timeline. So basically um, whenever we want to set a range on the timeline we can mark an in point by tapping I and then if I do control and D at this point and type in 15 period it's going to set my range to exactly 15 seconds. So we can see that right in the middle here that this is 15 seconds. So I'm just going to select this and change the fitting to none. And we'll increase the size a little bit so it fills that whole screen. So now we have this all in that kind of portrait format, which isn't really going to work for the tutorial, but for the sake of um, exporting out in the right format, it's going to work fine. So we can move to anywhere in our timeline, mark an endpoint, and then do Control and D and type in 15 period, and that will set that selection to 15 seconds. And as soon as we've got that selection set up, we can go to Export, Export Out a Master File, and that will be um, exactly the right size and uh, duration uh, for that Instagram story. So that's going to export out one individual kind of 15 second clip. If we wanted to divide this up into different clips, then there's a few different approaches you could take. So one thing we could do is set markers at 15 seconds. So if I just come back to my selection tool, I can hold down shift and tap plus and then type in 15 period. And that is gonna, when I hit enter, move 15 seconds down the, the timeline. Then I can add a marker and then I can do shift plus 15 period and I can add another marker. And so basically you can see here, as we're kind of moving through the, the timeline, we're setting these markers at 15 seconds apart. So you'll have those movies um, at exactly the right duration. And then we can either mark an in and out point just by marking in and out on the timeline or by using the range selection tool. And obviously the range selection tool, when we are moving between those will then snap to those markers. So if we grab the range selection tool here, you can see now we snap to the markers, we're selecting exactly that 15 seconds. So that's another way of doing this as well. And we could also grab a generator, hold down control and tap D, make that 15 seconds long. And then if we just select our generator and go back to the video properties up here at the top right, We'll set the opacity of that to nothing. And then if we just place that in position here, we can move that anywhere in our timeline. It's gonna mark out 15 seconds, and we can mark out 15 seconds and one frame. So we can adjust that slightly, but basically we're gonna be able to quickly move around the timeline and select different 15 second segments um, of our timeline. So there's a few different ways in which we can set the range really quickly and then also export out those 15 second ranges. And as soon as this range is selected, that's exactly what we're going to export out. Now, you can set one of these ranges exporting. And then as soon as you set that to export, you can come back in and export out the other one as well. So you don't need to do them all in one uh, kind of go. There's no automatic way of exporting out a series of 15 second ranges, I don't think in Final Cut Pro 10. But uh, this should kind of get you going 
uh, in roughly the right direction. So I hope this is helpful. Uh, I know a lot of people are posting these Instagram stories now and setting up the right resolution and getting everything kind of in place to have those 15 second segments um, so the timing is right and the kind of movement between one clip and the next uh, really kind of makes a nice difference to, to get that formatting just right. So thanks for watching. I hope you found this very quick tutorial useful and if you have any questions then leave them in the comments below. Otherwise I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.